everyone. Today we'll be talking about a very famous algorithm called ORM, which is a one-shot facial recognition algorithm. It is currently being used in your mobile phones and apps like Google Photos, in which you group uh, the people tab. You see the uh, images are grouped according to the people. So that is the algorithm used. The use of this algorithm is it does not require any com in a major computations. It does not require GPU. It's it can compute on normal CPU, and uh, it is a scale invariant. It is rotational invariant. Plus, it does not require a very large data set. It comes with only one image. So, what does ORB stands for? It stands for Oriented Start and Rotated Brief. There are actually two algorithms involved: Fast and Brief. But in ORB, we use a modified version of Brief, R Brief, and it combine it with Fast. So, how does it work? It works on key point matching. Key point matching are distinctive regions in an image, like the intensity variations. we identify that we match them and we add, uh, we use fa facial recognition we use them for facial recognition so like this is a cat image this is uh, i have first is original image in the second i have detected key points and for every key point a binary vector is created binary vector it's a simple vector of 0 and 1 so the computation is reduced extensively so what is the use of brief so in normal facial recognition algorithms of surf we compare 16 pixels like there are shown in orange but in brief algorithm we use an optimization technique we use only we compare only four pixels that are shown in yellow so this is the uh, feature vector created by the surf algorithm but this is the feature vector created feature vector created by the brief algorithm so you can see the uh, vector created is particularly distinctive and there are more accurate the key points are more accurate here so in the or we also use a uh, subsampling so every image is down sampled and up sampled accordingly the uh, for up sampling and down sampling we decrease and increase the resolution respectively mm -hmm. so that the image is scale invariant if the image suppose your face has been face has to be detected and it has it is a very small in picture or it is very big in picture so uh, it is distinctive nothing is else is required for it. uh you have you don't have to down sample or up sample the image for user so like this for each level is created and for each level a key point is detected and stored for rotational invariance we used a very famous centroid algorithm for it is a mathematical algorithm for keeping in the image rotationally invariant so for example i have a training image and a query image uh the training image is a map we have to detect in the query image so first of all we detect key points using or and then we use key point matching algorithm and we detect the key points in the image the maximum the best matching points are detected and the best matching points are the object has that has to be detected so it is a very computationally inexpensive algorithm and it is used extensively in major apps in facial recognition algorithms online so i'll be open to questions if any on my email id and thank you thanks a lot for watching